They're always rolling around on the floor. They're always rolling around on the floor pretending to be injured. I can't bloody stand it. I can't stand it. Not like in Rugger. In Rugger, they get up, they don't roll around on the floor. Always rolling around on the floor. You know what else I can't stand? They're always, they're always running over to argue with the referee. They're always, they're always arguing with the referee. I can't bloody stand it. I can't stand it. Not like in Rugger. In Rugger, they accept the referee's decision. They accept the decisions of their authority figures. Not like these, uh, these vile footballers. These footballers, primarily from working class backgrounds, disrespecting the authority figures. Uh, show some respect to the referee. Ah, oh, they do well to follow the example set by Rugger. In in Rugger, uh, they they respect the referee. Yeah, I can't. I cannot bloody stand it. I cannot bloody stand these footballers. These foot. Ballers. You, you know the other thing. It's you know the other thing I can't bloody stand. It, these these foot footballers. Yeah, these footballers from the from working class backgrounds. The amount of money these footballers earn. It's obscene. The amount of money the, these footballers are getting. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. It's it's obscene. I actually think it's obscene. The amount of money these footballers are getting. Obscene. It turns my stomach, it does. It turns my stomach. These footballers. Uh, uh, Paris, yes. I know the city well, of course. I've, uh, I've been sequestered in Paris <laughs> many, many a long weekend. <coughs> On the banks of the Seine. Of course, when I'm in Paris, I'm not, not doing something so dreadful as going to a football match. <laughs> no, no. Much, mu much more likely to find me find me in the Louvre. A glass of a fine glass of Merlot in hand. Yes. Yes, that's more my my scene than this, this awful football. <laughs> it's moronic, moronic pursuit. Oh, there we have Rome, of course, Rome, or as I like to call it, the Eternal City. <laughs> yes, Rome, another city I know very well, of course, uh, along with the uh, the entire Italian peninsula, to be honest. They, I, I, I know it very well, I know it intimately, I know it intimately. Rome, Rome, the Eternal City. Similarly, of course, when, I, when I'm in Rome, I'm not attending one of these football games. <laughs> no, 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 no. Taking the, the immense culture, the immense, the, the immense history, the history and the culture. And that's what I like to take in. Yeah, speaking of Rome, it actually brings to mind uh, the famous, uh, the famous quote from the Roman poet uh, uh, regarding bread and circuses, of course. It's, uh, I really, I really think of that when I when I hear hear about these awful football matches, and I, I make sure to make everyone aware that that's that that's what I'm thinking. I, I I will be I'll make sarcastic reference to it, of course. And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital Paris. We're at the Parc des Princes. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, joined by the former Arsenal and England defender Lee yes, Dixon. And we of course. should have a tremendous game of football. It's uh, whenever I, I, I hear someone Roma. speaking about yeah, a big you, football really match or something, I'm oh, oh, I give a wry little chuckle, football. and of course Hopefully I, we'll uh, I, uh, I make sure to reference that that famous quote, "Bread and circuses." <laughs> Those of us who are a bit more uh, uh, into into more, uh, rather more intellectual pursuits, shall we say? Yes. 
have little time to uh, to devote to uh, such simplistic things as football, or as I like to call it, sports ball. <laughs>